I see you're still with us this morning, Hiram. The chickens, too. Maybe Jesus will come if you fix him some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Buddy Cunningham like the Vise Fable, Esther? Hiram, no. Don't say that. There is no reality to our fondest hope. What are we to do? We need to pray. Brothers, will you join us to pray for guidance? Guidance? Open your eyes, Hiram. But this is the time that we need to be together. We have been deceived. Do you suggest that we continue in this delusion? If you would just give God a chance. I did that already. How you have blessed us as we have waited upon your return. Our hands have healed the sick. Our hearts have been lifted by the sight of so many others believing in you, in the hope of your great return. Lord, we have not lost our faith, but we seek wisdom to understand why you have not returned. We need you to show us the way forward. Accept our prayer, Father, and send us your light that a great disappointment may be explained. All these things we ask in the name of your loving Son, Jesus Christ. Come, brothers. Surely God has not forsaken us. Owen, come with me to the neighbors. Surely they must feel the sting of his sadness. We should all find comfort if we share in this experience. Of course. answering our morning prayer. It gives light to our great disappointment. The early Christians thought that Jesus came to set up an earthly kingdom, not a heavenly kingdom. After his death on the cross, they were bitterly disappointed, just as we are now. Clearly we got the date wrong, Hiram. No, Dr. Hahn, I think the date was correct. Then why is the Savior not returned? Maybe we were wrong about what was supposed to happen on October 22nd. The early Christians got the date right for the Messiah, but their expectation was wrong. Perhaps the same is true for us. Daniel's prophecy states that at the end of the 2,300 days, the sanctuary will be cleansed. And what if we mistook the meaning of the word sanctuary? But the sanctuary is the earth. Is it? Daniel says in chapter 7, And behold, one like the Son of Man came to the Ancient of Days, not to the earth as we believed. So where is the Ancient of Days? In heaven. After his death on the cross, Jesus became a high priest, and the work of redemption moved from the earthly sanctuary to the heavenly sanctuary. That would make sense. In the light of what it says in Hebrews chapter 8, and we have such a high priest, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched and not man. So Jesus is still coming back soon, then. We just don't know how quickly. Exactly. And it's there in the most holy of places that his work of cleansing takes place. 